I have a chair handle here. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe just for this chair handle. Make sure you have your handles with you at all times. Subscribe. Remember to subscribe. That's really important. Like the video as well. Make sure to like the video as well. I, just, I don't know if I pointed that out, but make sure you like the video. Subscribe. That would be much appreciated as well. Hi, everyone. Back to another video. Now, today, I have no idea what that weird intro was, but what I'm going to be bringing you is some really exciting news. Phantoms have parted company with Eddie Mrahich. I'm absolutely over the moon to be. Well, do, seeing this right now, obviously, Edin's left at all the protests and stuff, but just before I read the article and tell you my thoughts and stuff on it, can we try and smash 35 likes on this video? No, we'll go for 40 likes on this video, that would be much appreciated. Like the video to show you support of your anti edin But Edin has left, I'm, oh god, yeah, I, I wasn't joking by the way when I say my chair handles are actually broken. I'm just going to put this on the floor. But anyway, yeah, Edin's left, so that means Stefan Rupp is the 100% owner of Bradford City. It's just Stefan now, and he'll still be living over Ger uh, in Germany, and then uh, Julian Rhodes will be, like, running the club. Um, so, Stefan, I'll just give Rhodes, say, like, free mail or something like that, and it's up to Rhodes to do whatever he wants with that. Like, Rupp's just have some money, and Julian's going to be basically running the club. But Bradford Park Company with Rahic. Bradford City Football Club has parted company with Chairman and Chief Executive Eddie Mrahic by mutual consent. I don't think it was really mutual consent. I think Rupp was just like, seeing a bit Eddie. Julian Rhodes will operate as interim Chief Executive until the end of the current season. This comes following talks held between Rahic and City's majority shareholder Stefan Rupp. Rupp has spoke, spoken of the future following Rahic's departure. Time for change has come, and this marks the beginning of a new chapter for the club," said Rupp. The people of Bradford deserve much, much better. So Rupp clearly cares about us. Like Rupp has my full support. Rupp cares about us. It was just hopefully he doesn't become toxic, and he like after what we've seen, he literally doesn't care about us, and he'll just give us money. That's basically all that Rupp does. Um, so it's basically up to Julian now, um, up the Julian roads. I will do everything in my power to wash away the dreadful memories of the last 12 months and consign them to, to the history books for good. So he just wants to forget about 2018. 2019, we're going to spend a lot of money in January, um, get like players like John Marquis, Tom Eaves, hopefully, players like that. Or if we just want to go, go on a mad one and sign like Raheem Dyers and Phil Ford and something like that from Man City. I have no idea how we'd get them, but who knows what Rupp's planning on doing. I've in invested significantly in the club over the past two seasons and will continue to do so. That's good that he's going to continue to invest because if he's just like, oh, edin has gone now, that means I have to put all my money in there. Hey, let's get another random German guy in there. That's definitely not what we want. We just want to leave it as it is now. Test this. If this doesn't work by the end of the season and we end up going to League 2, then I say Rupp just sells up altogether. David Hopkins has begun to turn our on-field fortunes around and he and the players need your support to help us in the hugely challenging weeks and months ahead. We've got some... Easy games on paper now coming up. You know, we've got like Plymouth, 20 foot second in the league, Walsall down there at the bottom, Scunthorpe 20th in the league, just one place above relegation. Yeah, then we've got Sunderland, but then we've got Roch we've got Rochdale. So make sure you get yourself down to these games. Edin has gone, support the team, get behind the lads, and um, back on with the article. I'm pleased to have Julian on board and he will continue to play a key role in getting us back on track. It's time for us, our partners, partners, staff and players to push forward, dash together. So Ruppy's in this, he wants to do it all together, Edin's gone, so that I'm just over the moon that Edin's finally left, obviously. We're stuck with this team still until January, but I can see players like Josh Wright leaving, maybe Adam Chickson. Um, hopefully Huddersfield don't recall him, uh, don't recall Jack Payne, that would just be like one of the worst things that could happen. But maybe we'll just be like convinced and be like, Yo, Huddersfield, we're going to sign some amazing players. You know, let us keep Lewis O'Brien, let us keep um, Jack Payne, and hopefully players like that. Because look at some of the players we've got from Huddersfield Luca Culver, Lewis O'Brien, Jack Payne. Three of our best players this season. End of. Anthony O'Connor, close, close coming. Yeah, we'll forget about Sean Scannell. You know, he's hurt his back a little bit, but that's, that's enough for that. But yeah guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on it. 40 likes, as I said, that would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. If not for me, for the arm handle chair thing. 
I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I know what I want. You're not in my, you're not in my, you're not in my pants. It's